Hello, friends. Welcome to the Motivation Broadcast here in beautiful Savannah, Georgia. I am Dr. Lloyd, and this is part two of Now Faith Is. I first like to apologize for it being such a long time in between the two segments, but as the Father would have it, you know, there have been some interesting developments in these areas of faith and in my life as well, and I can only say that he has truly empowered me and my family. I hope he is empowering you as well. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about a second segment of Now Faith Is. Now Faith Is. And you know, I'm coming from a perspective that's a little bit different from most of the religious organizations. Uh, in our first segment, I talked about faith being preceded by belief. And after belief, then you have your faith that you develop. Because you cannot have faith if you don't believe in that which you should have faith in. Now, I do not teach and accept most of the teaching of the modern congregations today that teach you that faith is, is a vehicle by which you attain material possessions. Okay, uh, the faith I am going to be dealing with right now, and I'll get into that material possession faith uh, in a later segment if it be the will of Elohim. But what I'm going to be dealing with is the faith that is primarily supported by the Son and that the faith you must have for two primary functions, and that is salvation and pleasing the Father. Okay, I'm going to say that again. The faith that you have, must have to have primarily two functions, and that is for your salvation and pleasing the Father. Now, once we got that down, we have that down, we can move into these other areas that some of the religious organizations try to teach about attaining material possessions and your healings and your miracles and so forth. But primarily, first, we got to deal with the salvation because if we do not deal with that, then all the rest of these things would be uh, null and void. You understand? Okay, so uh, I want to talk about today the, the way we transition into this mindset. You know, many organizations today teach that you must have faith in yourself you must, must believe in yourself, okay? You must trust in yourself. Of course, there's no place in the scriptures that teaches that. You know, those that follow these religious institutions and these organizations and self-made and man-made religions, they focus on that. They really focus on believing in yourself, trusting in yourself, having faith in yourself. But that couldn't be further from the truth when it comes to the father and the son and the true follower of Yahushua HaMashiach. The true follower of Yahushua understands that we have nothing in ourselves and we can do nothing of ourselves, but all things point toward the father. Glory be to his name. You see, all things point toward the father. All your trust, put all your trust, have all faith in the father, have all faith in the son. When you have all and you put your entire, that's everything that leaves nothing out, you see. And those who have been truly called and truly chosen totally uh, uh, support and depend on the Father for their salvation, on the Son, and on the Ruach HaKadosh or the Holy Spirit, okay. Now, often you will hear me use these names, the true names of the Father, Yahuwah, and the true name of the Son, Yahushua. And this is what I do. Yeah, I don't use the name of God in the generic term or the uh, fictitious name that was improperly imposed on the son Jesus. Okay, you'll hear me say the name Yahushua. Okay, now don't get caught up on that for yourself. If you don't, then that's fine. But that's what you'll hear me refer to. When you hear me refer to uh, what you may call God, I use the term Yahuwah, his true name. And when I refer to the son, as I've stated before, I use the name Yahushua instead of the imposed name Jesus. Okay, so let's talk about how we got to this point. How do we get to the point of where our faith now is being used and taught to be used in these last days to attain material things? You see, to get material things, to purchase homes, to buy cars, to, to get miracles. You know, how, how do we get to that point? Well, of course, it was the distortion of the teaching uh, in its proper form of the scripture. 
First and foremost, without faith, the scripture says it is impossible to please Yahuwah. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Without faith, it is impossible to please Yahuwah. So we know we want to be pleasing to him. We want to please him because all those who have been called and chosen have the desire to please him. It is put in you by the Holy Spirit or the Ruach HaKodesh. It is put inside. Okay. Not to please ourselves, but to please him. See, so how can we please him if we don't believe that he is? And how can we have faith if we don't believe that he is? So what, what we need to do, we first must believe, and then based on our belief, we will have faith in that which we believe. And from that faith, now we can please the Father, okay, if he has called and chosen us to be saved or to salvation, okay? So I want to get this mindset in you. I'm laying a little foundation. I want to get the mindset in you that it is not your faith. It is the faith of Yahushua HaMashiach that equals our righteousness or declares us righteous or watch this is our justification you see the world teaches that and, and when i say the world i'm including those religious institutions i'm including those religious organizations you see they teach that if you can accomplish great things in the kingdom if you can uh, amass several followers if you can build great buildings and, and have people come to see you every week, okay, and count your members, and you get 5,000 members, then you must have great faith. You understand what I'm telling you? They're saying that your faith is connected to the things that you do. Therefore, you must be righteous and you must be justified because you've been able to accomplish these things. You've built this great edifice and you erected these great buildings and all these people come to hear you every week. You must have great faith. This must be a, a great man of faith, you see. And that's not what the scripture teaches. The scripture teaches that does, it doesn't matter what you do because you are not saved or you don't please the Father by your works. You understand what I'm telling you? You don't please the Father by your works. You're ple you please the Father by faith. You understand? Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Now, what faith are they talking about? Let's look in the book of Galatians in chapter 2, and I'm going to read at verse 16. Okay, here we go. You ready? Knowing that a man is not justified. There you go. Now, that word justified here means declared righteous. It is being in right standing with Yahuwah. Okay, that is the position of the called and chosen believer. He says, knowing that a man is not justified, watch this, by the works of the law, okay, but by the faith of themselves. No, it doesn't read that. By the faith of your pastor. No, it doesn't read that. By the faith of your deacon board. No, it says by the faith of Yahushua, Hamashiach. And we have believed in Yahushua, Hamashiach, that we might be, look at this, justified by who our faith no listen by the faith of ha mashiach and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law watch this shall no flesh be declared righteous shall no flesh be justified you see all this stuff you see going going out here the, the member counting you know the activities the convocations the meetings the camp meetings, the healing service, all these things can never declare one righteous because you're not declared righteous or you're not justified by any of the things that we do. We are justified, watch this, by the faith of Yahushua, by the faith of Hamashiach. We are justified by that. Now, what if you don't believe that? If you don't believe that, then, you know, needs to say you are not declared righteous. Or you're not justified, glory be to his name. You see? So our justification, our, our declaration of righteousness, our position of the Father is solely based on the faith of Yahushua HaMashiach, the Son. Now you read that and meditate on that a little bit in Galatians chapter 2, verse 16. And I'm going to talk about more of this, if it be the will of Elohim, next week. And we're going to dig a little bit deeper. But you chew on that until then, okay? Be empowered, my friend.